Hello everybody, this is Ward of Fun. Um, today we're going to be learning how to do your first mod map, but we're going to keep it very easy. So, all we're going to be doing is making a Tesla Trooper Heavy Lot of Strength, and I guess we'll make it free, as well as making it fast. And that's all we're going to do, so we're going to keep it simple. Now, before you start, if you're having a problem where you're, you don't see the green, you just see all black in the spawn points, that is probably because you're either on Windows Vista or Windows 7. Either way, you need to right click the icon, select Run as Administrator to start it. Not everybody has this problem though, I don't. So, for everybody else, completely ignore that, it's not important. Now, either open an existing map or start a new one. I'm going to create a new one. And once you've loaded the map, you want to turn into a mod map. Click Options. And make sure Beginner Mode is unchecked. We don't want that checked. I'll make sure there's no check mark there. And then go to Edit right here. And go down here, very bottom, to Any Editing. Little pop up like this will show. Um, uh, since we're doing Tesla Trooper, that'll be SHK. Click this button right here, add. Another pop up will show. Type in exactly in all capital letters SHK. Since that's what Tesla Trooper's little code is in the rules. The game rules, to be exact. We'll learn more about that later. After you enter it, Click the arrow here, look in the sections and look for what you just typed in. SHK. Now, down here is quite bare, but we're going to go here and click Add. And now another pop up came up here and it's asking you to add in a tag or a key. It says. First thing we're going to do is put in string. Make sure the first letter, S, is capitalized and everything lowercase. Spell it correctly, too, that's important, obviously. Afterwards, make an equal sign, no space, and then a number, no space as well. Um, if you want it to be very weak, put in like one or zero or something. If you want it to be very strong, the higher, the stronger. I'm going to put in like nine and nine, so it's very strong. Now, here we have strength, which means it's practically invulnerable if you put it in like I did. Now the Tesla Trooper would be like very hard to kill, but what we might also want to add is cost. So we're going to put in cost, capital C, lowercase lst, no space, equal sign, then again no space, and put in a number. doesn't matter what kind of number, it could be positive or negative. Positive is how much money it costs, and negative is how much money it gives you. And zero is just it doesn't, nothing, it doesn't cost anything, it doesn't give you anything. So I'm going to put in zero because I don't want it to give me no money. Now keep in mind though that if you put in a negative, when units destroy this guy, assuming they can destroy it, um, they will lose promotion. So keep it either a positive zero or if you don't care about promotion decreasing or anything, make it negative. Now, since we have cost and strength, there are many other tags we can add here, but we're going to keep it simple and add in just one more, and that is speed. Capital S, lowercase p e e d, equal sign, and I'm going to put in 20 because that's a high number. That will make him pretty fast. If you put it too high, though, the infantry units won't be able to move. Vehicles do not have that problem, though, but we'll do vehicles again later. So, cost, speed, and strength. That's three very simple tags that will get you used to it very quickly, actually. Um, once you do that, go here and click the Save button. Since I did not place any Yuri objects on the battlefield, it's going to save an RE2 map unless I go down here and select Save as Type Yuri's Revenge. If you're making a mod map for RE2, then make sure you save it as an RE2 map. But for people that are playing Yuri's Revenge, make sure you save it as a Yuri's Revenge map type. Otherwise, you will not be able to play it in Yuri's Revenge. Now, I'm going to name it Mod. 
on that test. Just so I can go back to it later. And do more tutorials on it, I guess. And I'm gonna name it that so I know what to look for in game. Alright, so now the Deadly Trooper is free, runs very fast, and is very hard to kill. So we're gonna launch the game and test it out. Just to see how it looks in game. Alright, we're gonna start at one. And we're gonna click start. It's good that you do this often testing your map, because if you do put in a typo or something, you can cause an IE. But if you're careful, you won't have many problems, if any. Mobile New construction, construction options. Center. Building. Construction complete. New construction options. Cannot All deploy right. here. Alright, Tesla Troop for zero dollars, so that worked at least. Charging up. Let's see how fast. Electrician in the field. Oh yeah, he's very fast. So you can tell that that worked also. Field. Now there's only one more. Waiting thing. orders. For mother right. And yeah, he's pretty much immortal. Waiting orders. orders. Yes, so, yeah. Moving out. Moving out. Unit promoted. New rally point established. Unit ready. Yes, going to source. Unit promoted. Oh, this is what happens when you make infantry get Unit fast. Promoted. This often happens. Almost Unit all the time promoted. you make it fast. Yes, so, so you source. might not want to make infantry. You just Surging fast. forward. Moving out. Yeah, he's, uh, that's mainly when they go around building, you know. Uh, Rubber shoes in motion. Going to source. Yes, comrade. Unit promoted. He's fried. Unit promoted. Commencing shock terror. Surging forward. Oh, yeah. So yeah, there you go. There is your extremely basic tutorial on how to make Tesla troopers practically immortal, run ridiculously fast, and cost whatever you desire. Now if you want to find other unit tags, let's go in the description. I'm gonna list a few. But just the infantry for now. The next video will work on vehicles, I suppose. Alright, so so I don't go over 10 minutes, I'm going to end it now. If you guys have any questions, of course, ask. Um, make sure you read the description first, and make sure you have annotations on. Um, I believe that's how you pronounce it, at least, I don't know. But um, uh, anyways, enjoy, I hope this helped. And for everyone that's not a big beginner like this, I'm sorry. There will be a better video later, or there may be one now, but whatever. Yeah.